Welcome to my series on how to factorize polynomials. This is the first of a series and we're going to learn how to become kings and queens of factorizing in algebra. This is a very important skill to have. If you're not already following me daily, you're welcome to press subscribe below if you so wish. It'll be lovely to have you on board. I have lectures on my channel from grade one all the way to senior school. Lots of opportunity to catch up on anything you may have missed and you are welcome to become a subscriber. Right, so let us look at prime expressions. Now remember prime numbers, we know what those are from junior school. Those are numbers which only have one and themselves as their factors. So a prime expression is the same. It's divisible by one and itself. So we need to recognize prime expressions. This is a very short clip, but I want you to spot prime expressions. Here are some examples. You can see 2c minus 7 is only divisible by itself and 1 because those are both prime numbers and there's only one c, not the c squared. a plus b is divisible by itself and 1. They're not squares, they're only 1a and 1b. x and y are divisible by themselves and 1. There isn't another one there. It's not x squared and y squared. It's just 1x and 1y. Right. So I want you to click on tomorrow's clip to learn about the greatest common factor, factorization of mol uh, polynomials. The first step was just learning about a prime expression. Tomorrow we're going to go into more depth and I'll see you there.